shout out to Froggy Man One for becoming an Ultra member. Thank you so much, bro. Anyways, let's start the video. Hey everyone, SMG here. Welcome back to another video. I'm going to be reacting to the State of Play, February 25th, 2021, English by PlayStation. So, Ayo, the next PlayStation State of Play is finally coming, like, in like, I would say like 10-11 minutes, and I am collabing with Neon Cat. We are doing our intros at the moment, but we are collabing for this, and we're going to see. I'm hoping for Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, and a brand new trailer for that. And uh, yeah, we're about to see what other PlayStation games are uh, going to be announced. Um, maybe God of War 2, maybe more Final Fantasy 16 stuff. Not a I don't play a lot of, I don't play any PlayStation games, but I respect, uh, as a Nintendo fan, I respect, um, PlayStation as, uh, another, uh, console and stuff. So I'm gonna check to see what they've got, and, uh, yeah. I'll, uh, see you guys when the live stream actually starts. I'll see you guys in a little bit. See what gets announced. Alright, here we go. Okay. Here goes nothing. Yeah, so crash! Oh, this is crash! This is crash! It's crash! Shocking events that would change the course of your life. Crash is coming to PS5. <laughs> that last part oh, might nice. have been a hair dramatic, but there's lots of awesome updates and additions coming to the Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time experience on PS5. Because they're because they're like upgrading the graphics to PS5 hey, graphics. Everyone, I'm Lou Stutter, oh yeah, that makes sense. Toys for Bob. I'm here to give you the feature rundown of Crash Bandicoot 4 on PS5. That includes 4K at 60 right, frames nice. per second, adaptive triggers, 3D audio, and more. Let's make this fun. Picking up where Crash Bandicoot Warp left off, in Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time, we find the evil masterminds Neocortex and Dr. Entropy escaping a once-thought inescapable interdimensional prison, leaving giant holes in the universe. What follows is a mind-bending adventure for Crash and his marsupial pals. Really cool. We designed Crash Bandicoot 4 to leap off your screen, brimming with bold, vibrant right. environments and characters. I think this is a good announcement Crash to Bandicoot start off. always looked pretty suave. I mean, but I think, uh... Spinning heads in native 4K yeah. at 60 frames per second. It, I think this is a good honestly, it's not a bad announcement to start off with. To run. There's little time no, to yeah, I feel like a lot of people screens. expected it, too, so that's why. Wireless yeah, a lot of people expected this. Triggers to your fingertips. So you can feel the blast of Neocortex's DNA-changing ray gun. Or feel the grip when you grapple a ton of hookshot. Hold on you tight feel, you feel the, the yeah. boost of Crash's yeah. jetboard. Feel and the suck. Really feel the suck. <laughs> <laughs> can you feel the burn Waiting if get you get burst in the Crash Bandicoot universe? I don't know, maybe. Crank it up to 11. Or the electricity. Kind of like the line feel the 3D suck. Audio. That's just really funny. Or the piano. That, can you feel the piano too? 106 percent completion yeah. is the sign of a true Bandicoot master. But should our genetically mutated marsupial lose his way, leverage PlayStation 5 activity cards to track your progress. So there's quests. And your goals for things like, like achievements fights, and stuff. Interesting. And boss fights. Whoa. I bet Was that like a? Yet that. Even bring your incomplete oh, save yeah. over There's from the like PlayStation 4 transfer, like, save transfer cards uh, to get to 106. Oh, nice. Oh, and one more thing: if you own the PS4 version of the game, oh, good. an upgrade okay, option is available. Check out the, the PlayStation game, blog cool. for full details. Whether it's your first playthrough or your hundredth. There's no better time to experience Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time nice. on PlayStation 5. Nice. Cool. Okay. Welcome back, Crash. The gang's all here on today's new edition of State of Play. We've got right. some great updates lined all up right. for you. Alright. Let's Ooh. check out the latest on an eagerly anticipated game coming to the PS5 console maybe? this spring from PlayStation Studios. <laughs> from the studio. Hey everyone, we at Housemark are excited to give you this sneak peek at Returnal. Returnal. Alright, that's Returnal, the game. Oh, yeah. We'll play as Celine, an Astra Scout. Who crash lands on an alien planet, Atropos, after receiving a mysterious signal. Light okay, shadow. interesting. Players will explore this inscrutable, dark planet in search for answers and unfold mysteries, which may point to a larger force at play. 
All right, unrelated, but what if? So if FNAF Security Breach actually uh, gets a trailer in this, uh, watch them like discuss of how Security Breach is gonna work and stuff. Uh, I don't know, maybe. Like, there's a narrator saying, "Oh, you have to survive in this pizzeria and stuff." Watch them say that. Maybe, maybe. I already have a theory of how the gameplay will work. Just Anyways, back to Returnal. Returnal unique, honestly looks and cool. Of unique this actually does possess. look really cool. It has Combat a unique style. Honestly, no it's interesting. All this alienware okay. is like... Is nice. Whoa! The cutscenes look better than the models in the game. Like, the cutscenes look... Phenomenal. Every time you die yeah. and restart, the world will change. The map will be what? different. What? So the map will be different. Wait, the map changes? And in different it changes. Numbers. Okay, so that's cool. <laughs> that's all, honestly cool. That means it's enemies not bad. will be different and fire, they will be in different which is spots. Great that's actually control. a really cool idea. This is for one of many alt I mean, it's I mean so, so you don't have to like remember like a bunch of stuff because it's all random. Yeah. It's like random generated, I guess. Harder. That makes the game harder. You will stumble across mysterious devices that can grant rewards to the player. These will vary from weapons, consumables, and upgrades, and they can completely change your playstyle and make okay. you cycle. So you put your arm in there and what? A oh, it's a, like Besides a sensor. Intense combat. Returnal also has a deep and engaging narrative. Mm. We allow players to piece together the puzzle that is the story okay. of Selene as they venture deeper and deeper into Atropos. At her house? Personal nightmare. Guessing? That's... Yeah. That can't be here. I think I am reliving my memories in that house, but... Not fully. They're corroded. Ooh. Some parts are missing, others seem... Interesting. Manufactured. But I can remember the torment, feeling Ooh. like I was losing my mind. <sighs> There's no comfort here. No safe space. That's very interesting. Oh, there's gonna be a jump scare. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it's. There's gonna. Yeah. There, watch your be a jump scare. Yeah, it's, it's a creepy game. room, so someone's just gonna. Oh, never mind. Oh. Returnal. Yeah, Returnal. And no release date. Returnal oh, April 30th. Lands on April 30th, and it's oh, April 30th. Team at oh my god, dodgeball. Oh, Next, oh, this was from the Nintendo. Yeah, you're a bit ahead of me. Game called City. Oh, okay, sorry. I didn't know that. Dodgeball, yeah. Hi, I'm Josh from Bellin Studios. We're an indie developer based in upstate New York, and we recently announced Knockout Honestly, City. Honestly, this game does look cool. It has a unique style. Action game for PS4 but where rival crews settle their scores with no. epic dodgeball battles. Yeah, look. Yeah, it's obviously dodgeball. Knockout yeah, dodgeball. I saw this in the They're Nintendo aware Direct. For those who've got the skills. They're aware of it. In our one v one face off mode, you'll go head to head in the trailer in the Nintendo Direct. I, it made it seem like they were like, oh, this is like a gun game. Like you can I thought it was like I saw like that ogre, and I thought it was like Raid Shadow Legends or something. <laughs> or World of Warcraft. I was like, why did I say that? Well, I, I knew they, they were like just putting games together as like recover. references, but I don't even think they were real games. Away, the last the second dodge is the difference between getting knocked Still out cool. and staying in the fight. Keep your wits about you and outplay your opponent to bring home a win. Yeah, this game looks really cool. There's also, of course, the storm as well. Let's jump into Team well. KO, our 3v3 mode. 3v3 mode? Work makes a dream work in Knockout City. If your crew is outmatched, a well-coordinated team can oh, still yeah, dominate. Oh yeah, that is really cool though. You can also We're throw your back teammates brawl, as a, a new like, map ball. That you'll find in Wait, you can? I didn't even know that. For this match is the sniper ball, which locks yeah. onto targets from far across the map. And then the Nintendo trailer as well. You can take them out before they have a like, chance to react. Be the bomb, Beyond special like, you know, balls, each be map thrown. features a unique mechanic. In back alley brawl, you can hop into a tube and make a quick getaway or use them to sneak up on your opponents. Interesting. Caught empty-handed? You can literally be oh, okay. the ball. A new I have a feeling that Nintendo's gonna put this type of trailer in uh, or risk it on its channel as well. Launch them high into the air with an ultimate throw, oh, yeah, and they'll land in a You're huge right. instant Maybe. KO explosion. The team here at Valen has been obsessed with building this world over the last four years. All right, EA, don't disappoint us. And we'd love your help in our final this actually doesn't look bad. For an, yeah, for a, for an EA game, it's honestly okay. See you soon, looks brawlers. cool. I like, I, like the, I like the look of it already. It looks good. 
gameplay looks fluent and honestly the yeah it looks pretty good already D there's a beta all right it's crossplay already damn that really shows time for something new here's your first look at an upcoming ps5 game from the team at slow clap slow oh. wait slow clap what's slow clap okay the second there i felt like something new and i'm like wait a minute is this fnaf already it's probably gonna no, be no, at no. The end. I mean, they already announced FNAF, so it's not anything new. It's a, like a oh, new yeah, game yeah, that hasn't right, got right. like a... Yeah. Right, you're right. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like some samurai game that we don't know of. It's probably a samurai beat-em-up that's like 3D. Oh, yeah. yeah I think you're is, right. Yeah. yeah, they're literally kicking the shit out of each other. Yeah. Oh, nice. This actually doesn't look bad. The music I like. Not bad. Like he just grew a beard. Like, you can... There's definitely a gimmick here. There's a gimmick to this game. Like, like can you, like... Like, there's, like, slowing down time? Because he literally just grew a beard. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm guessing it is. There's definitely something that has to do with time here. Because... Yeah, he's... He, he's literally growing a gray beard. Like, at the beginning yeah. of... He's, like, so young. At the... It's like that was the debut yeah, of I think Sifu, it, it is. coming Sifu. to the PS5 console later this year. And PS4. That looks sick. Now let's get an update on Solar Ash, an cool. epic new Solar Ash. adventure from Heart Machine. Right. This actually looks cool. Dang. Crazy thing I learned about that is that the only way you can simulate something like that is actually putting numbers in a computer. Hey everyone, I'm Alex Preston, creative director of Heart Machine. You might know us as the team behind Hyperlight Drifter. Today, I'm here to show you the first peek at gameplay for our new title, Solar Ash. Ooh. Solar Ash is a huge, but he said in my chat that the last game could have been like on PS4, but I don't know. The game is set inside a giant black hole. Yeah, those aren't PS. Those aren't PS5 graphics, are they? Not. They aren't. You play as Ray. A yeah, daring void runner who has decided to venture it looks like it can run on PS4 as a last ditch effort Ooh. to save her home world. Ray is extremely agile. She's got like freaking roller skates now. One thing I've noticed, one thing I've noticed, clouds, she can this is cover great distances another thing world. where it's like it's open world and like you have like fast movement. At its core, Solar Remember that there was that one game movement. where it was like the, the, the owl needs. and that one Slow lady with like the crossbow? Way. Like the bow and arrow, and that one's like a fast moving open world game. So, I feel like there might be more of these type of games for PS5. As you journey I to be surprised. Planet, you'll find yourself face to face with grotesque and violent creatures. Our combat system is simple, fast, and fluid, built to empower players and encourage flow. As you explore the Ultra Void, enemy encounters will scale to greater and greater sizes. There some of these creatures were so speed as you proceed um they're gonna be bigger i guess like more stronger okay interesting i like that kind of mechanic whoa concept is pretty cool ray will eventually need to face the massive sentinels of this void wretched starved beasts that hold the key to her quest Ooh. If they're starved shouldn't they be dead no i'm just kidding they're probably just hungry Dang, that music, that background music. Oh, that. The wheel, wheel, wheel. Just. Spaces, that, 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 feel of movement, I like that kind of like electronic hip hop battles, stuff. Top, enormous beasts all come together yeah. to bring players something it's good music. incredibly unique and more importantly, fun. This game is a labor of love. It does actually look kind of fun. On the Heart Machine team. We're excited to bring Solar Ash to PS5 and PS4 later this year. Ooh. 2021. If you're a fan of scary games, oh, oh, this oh, next one is for oh, you. Oh, 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 scary, scary. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Shh. Shh. Oh. 
Vanny. Oh my god. Look. Vanny. <gasps> That's her. That's the guard. Oh my god. There is, is there gonna be a game play? Hold on. Yo, they're gonna show off. Oh my god. That's what fear crazy. takes hold. And it's like the oh other my trailer. Yo, that's Roxanne Wolf. That's Roxanne. There's Gator. Oh, the stage is set. Find, uh, Glamrock Chica. Okay. And insanity prevails. Gl oh, like. And oh, Glamrock Freddy. Gregory, we can get you it's out gonna of be here. a lot of fear. There's Gregory. Oh my god. Oh my god, Monty. Monty Montgomery. They won't stop hunting you. Oh. Ho, ho. Them will stop hunting you. This is it. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's gameplay. And you play as Gregory? You play as yeah. I think Gregory and the other guard. Maybe. And there's a ball pit. You will do as I say. The mall. You will bring me what I want. Oh my god. Oh my god, she's after you. And got a map? Oh, they're after you. That's Freddy, right? Freddy. Whoa, there's a new animatronic. And there is. There's Vanny. Oh, FNAF security breach. Oh, okay, that looks really cool. Five nights at. Oh my god, nightmare. 2021. That was a nightmare animatronic or whatever. Yeah, what? What was that nightmare animatronic? That was a like chilling a new animatronic. look at Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Yes! Alright. Up next, let's take a tour of Oddworld Soulstorm. Alright. Alright. This is the point where Daco and the other FNAF YouTubers are done their reactions. Oh yeah, Today, just I'm gonna like take gone. you on a brief tour of our newest game, Oddworld Soulstorm. I'm gonna watch the rest of it. You would come yeah, you I'm gonna also do that. You have? In Soulstorm, you reprise the role. Probably of going to like do a regular, like, unlikely standalone FNAF reaction. Revolution. As you do battle Just through weird, make it and wonderful yeah. environments in an effort to escape the all powerful and eternally greedy Gluckens. Honestly, that trailer was really that was this that showed so much stuff. Platforming. And it's coming this year, so uh, probably gonna get another trailer. This sense of connection oh, yeah, is also right. reinforced through the use of the dual senses haptic feedback, as you'll now be able to feel Abe's heartbeat in high alert and suspenseful situations. What? There are well over 1,000 fellow Mudokins that you must try to save along the way. But they are far more than helpless workers looking to be saved. When used effectively, you'll be able to solve puzzles, harness their combined energy, and be given the tools they need to fight alongside you. And there will be times when the extra hands will be needed as you face off against an array of heavily armed enemies that will stop at nothing to find an end Abe once oh. and for all. In order to stand okay. a chance against the I'm honestly sweat I can't get the FNAF trailer out of my head. I'm sweating right now. Pocket items from his really? surroundings. Yeah, I, I literally can't get it out of my head. Arsenal of his own Once this is done, I'm I'm others. literally uploading my reaction. Like you can also play right now. Once I'm done. Or an agent of okay. chaos. We Holy shit. <laughs> but there is one iconic ability for our shamanic protagonist. Possession. Shamanic. This mystical power allows you to take control of your foes and use their strengths and weapons against them, or use them to gain access to paths still ahead. The Oddworld universe okay. is a diverse place, and this means that there are some environments and situations that require a little more thought, patience, and stealth. You'll find dark and dangerous caves, heavily guarded industrial sites, and ancient forgotten lands. All right, there should be 13 Here minutes left. Built lots of opportunities for you to test your skills oh, yeah. and find yeah. different ways to handle. 13 things. minutes. It won't be easy. If being hunted by an army backed oh, by no. a shady and wealthy organization isn't Area enough, 51 just became there are Area 52. Also more dangers in the forms of natural Whoa. obstacles, ancient traps, trials against swarming dark creatures, and industrial hazards that must be dodged, crossed, and avoided. Ultimately, Whoa. Abe's journey is one of hope, <laughs> oh, freedom, and truth. There is a rich and engaging narrative to discover in a world full of lies. And we've been able to bring our characters to life like never before.
In true Oddworld fashion, your actions in-game will decide the fate of Abe and all those you manage to liberate along the way. And we can't wait to see what you will do. Alright, interesting. April 6th. That was the latest on Oddworld Soulstorm. And here's some exciting news. Active PlayStation Plus members will get the PS5 version for no extra cost starting in April. PS5 version for no extra cost starting in April. It just... Did it just do a double for you? Moving on. Yeah, it did. It's time to All right. catch up with Kina Bridge of Spirits. A gorgeous new a adventure weird. we last saw. Yeah, that was like... PS5 super, showcase. It like lagged for a second. PlayStation, fix your trailers. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. YouTube's having some problems now. Well, let's just focus on this and not YouTube for now. Yeah. If YouTube prevents me from uploading this, that would be a problem. Yeah. Okay. Very colorful, indeed. Oh, yeah, definitely. Usually Wait, this it. is... Okay. This is like Pikmin, basically. Come to our village, looking for forest creatures. Hello, spirit. I seek passage to the sacred mountain shrine. Actually, I technically not, but... To the you know? You can command those, like, things to, like, do bid your bidding. Interesting. Okay, yeah, wait, that's really cool. She, she, she can meditate and get more power, I guess. Spirits yeah. linger here. Tangled in the tragedies of our past. You must help these spirits if you wish to reach the world. So it's all dark and you can, she just makes it all light again. Yeah. You have to go now. Animation is definitely unique for like a game standpoint. I feel like they're actually trying to have- It's like Breath of the Wild if it was more cartoony. Well no, what I'm saying is like- CGI Breath of the Wild. It's basically just like, yeah, CGI animation. They're not trying to make like this thing look like real. But they're like trying to make it look like it's an animation, basically. Mm -hmm. you know? Kind of like a movie, like an animated movie. Whoa, it's like transforming. What the heck? Whoa. Oh no. That oh nice. Oh yeah, wait, she can have the staff be a bow. Alright, that's cool. Kenna. Bridge <laughs> of Spirit. No, oh. Nice. Just stop. August. Alright. Late summer. Now let's settle now. in for a stylish right. new look at Deathloop, a PS5 first person shooter developed by the team at Arcane. Oh, Deathloop. Oh, okay. Oh. Right. All right. You'll never ever break this loop. There's no never here. Just you, me, and the rest of these maniacs. <laughs> Bring it, baby. <laughs> I have a this small feeling that there's going to be a copyrighted song. This little ditty goes out really? to the handsome asshole trying to break our loop. Cold. The visionaries are ready to dance. Are you? Man. I think this game is really good. Alright, in case I'm gonna like, mute it for copyright. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can my mouse please work? Yeah, I'm actually gonna mute this too. Yeah. yeah there we go. I'm just gonna mute it. Honestly, I think I think it's cool because it's, it's basically being self-aware in the fact that like, games, you have multiple lives and you can just like, come back and mm -hmm. like, continue. Like, that's the whole point it's of a, it, but it's still I good. thought I just saw an invisible knife or something, but never mind. It's a, it's a regular knife. 
And they can, like, change their stuff again. Oh, yeah. Oh, still playing, alright. <laughs> I was I like, unmuted it really quick to see if it was still playing. Once they show the title, I yeah. think they should stop the song. Yeah, they probably will. Or maybe it'll be, like, the end of the song. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, this game looks really good. Really cool. And there it is. Death Loop. Oh, okay. Oh man. The, oh, she, she, she about to mark this boy. Oh. Interesting. Very. Whoa. Yeah, she just. Like, they just snapped her neck. So yeah, those are. And like, a grenade. Breakthrough. They're like half mannequins, but they're like people. You know. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It's like that's kind of interesting. It's all right, I guess. Also, like teleport. Oh, dang. Ooh. I like that transition. Expand your mind. Mm -hmm. Literally just jumping. Yeah. Mm. Blam. Like you know, the the gun. Kill. You do the copyright, yeah. I love the music, yeah. Same he. <laughs> <laughs> the mu our voices are the music, I guess. Cause uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. all right, yeah. all right, music's okay. gone. At first, if you don't succeed, die, die again. All right, copyright's over. Yeah. Before we leave. How about oh, like a one huge update yeah. for one of 2020's most celebrated games? Celebrated games? Oh, what? Final Fantasy! Oh, it's Final Fantasy oh, VII no. Remake. Uh, the second part. It's the second part. Yo, it's Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2. Wait, this was broken up into multiple parts? Yeah, it was. Like, the, the one-winged angel part is the second part. Oh, this is it! Oh, yeah. oh, so cool! They couldn't finish the first game, or the whole thing. So they just yeah, they put it in part. two parts. Yeah, okay. They're gonna. Hey, Seth Seffy. Yeah, so well, part. Guys, your girl finally made it to Midgar. All right, so this is part two. This is part two of a uh, remake. Up. Oh. Yep. Yuffie and elite special forces operative for the new Wutai government will prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with. Members of Avalon. But I know who Yuffie is because she's in Kingdom Hearts as well. Ah, there you are. Okay. Someone's been expecting you. What took you? Is that a squall? That. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. Never mind. Where's Cloud? We lost him. You what? He will be okay though, right? Well, of course he will. They're the ones who blew up the reactors. Cool. Should we say hi? No. Wait, so is this in the original game too? I, they, like, I, I don't know much oh, about Final, the original Final Fantasy VII, but uh... We gotta help. I don't know if this is a DLC or this is the actual part two. Maybe. Cause I wouldn't be surprised if these are new characters. Maybe like, Yuffie's like a... Si this Yuffie stuff is like a side story or something? Yeah, maybe. No freaking way! Boss! Get you guys should probably get moving. Got it. Whatever it is they're planning. You're better off out of this. We deserve what's coming to him. I was like, the, yeah, that, that guy, do, I feel like his voice I'm is not the one that yeah. There you are. Who are these jerks? No clue. It just appeared. Wait, so this is this like part two? 
Enter. Enter. Let in. the hunt begin. Get down here, bro. Oh, now the graphics are changing. Oh, the, bad, the graphics are better. It was a slight difference. <laughs> and so it's more frames per second. Yeah. The movement is fast. So maybe like si instead of 60 frames, with like over 100 maybe? Touch. 120 frames. So I think no, I I don't think this is a I think this is like a re like a re a PS5 remake, and there's like better stuff. Fog effects. Yeah, there's way better okay. new stuff. It's like a or with like extra. Stuff. So there's yeah there is extra stuff. Lighting's different. They're just bringing yeah Final Fantasy remake. 7 remake to the PS5. Okay. Quality of life. Oh, it's 4K. Nice. Okay. Easy class. Normal classic. What? Loading times. We're adding classic difficulty. Cl Paused. Oh. Fo oh, there's a photo mode. Oh, there is? Nice. Okay, interrupting. I just. Copping the stuff from. What Nintendo's doing with their Oh, games. oh, it, it's a new oh, episode for- Oh yeah, so it is a new- It's a side story, basically. Okay. It's not the part two of the game. <laughs> I'm guessing they haven't finished yeah. that. Yeah, like they're not doing the part two yet. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> That's how ninjas do it. Great job, Yuffie. Final Fantasy VII Remake. Intergrade. You can you you can upgrade for free. Oh, nice, right. awesome. Oh, so you have to purchase that after you. All right, so it's coming June tenth. All right. Makes sense. That's like that five days before my birthday. Final Fantasy VII Remake okay. Integrate coming to the PS5 console later this year. And that's our show. We hope you're that's as it. excited as we are right, for what's to come right. in 2021. That was See you next interesting. time. Interesting. All right. Say that was PlayStation. All right. All right. That was it. That was yeah. That was basically it. All right. <sighs> Not bad, honestly. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Hey, yo, the uh, yo, yeah. the FNAF trailer was probably like the icing on top for this one. Like FNAF oh, yeah. is like the best part, in my opinion. Yeah, that was definitely the best part, honestly. Anyway, it was cool. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do my outro like right now. So, uh, hey, I'll see you, you again. I'll see. You, I'll see you next time. Okay. Take care. Okay, bye. Anyways, guys, yeah, make sure you watch the original video. Subscribe to PlayStation. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe, ring the bell, and all that good jazz, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next video. There, guys. Thanks for watching. Deuces. <laughs>